that moment, all of your hatred towards Chester 410 comes full circle, and you become Chester 410. Play with her up front. And Evatrice is obviously going to be the second because it's her story. Uh, let's see, how many times do I get to play as Chester? Four. Four times. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, I'll be honest, unlike the other characters that I played as throughout the game, I haven't played as Chester too much. How high are we in the character popularity poll? I forgot, 07 does that from time to time. I forgot it. I forgot who the high rankers were, but I think Beatrice Butler and Eva are usually the top. I'm gonna crush everyone who's more popular than me. Ouch. And then at the end, Chester's more popular. Playhouse with me. Very strange person. Aww. We don't get to play in the boiler room that much. Sorry, the transition picture is pretty good. Okay, so other than pissing me off, what can this character do? You know, I actually remember playing Chester 410 one. Wait, hold on. Have I actually played Chester 410 before? Oh, not according to my list. Yeah, no, this is the first time I played. I just want to make sure. So, Chester 410 has okay specials. Most of her specials are around the golden bow of sadness, but... Um, other than that, she's actually a pretty confident fighter. If you like uh, an alternative to the main fighters that people play all the time, uh, first off, I don't know why you're watching this video because I don't know who's the main fighters, but the main fighters that I think of when I think of this game are both of the Bottlers, Cannon and Willard, as well as, uh, as well as if you want flavor, some, uh, Angie and Rika. If you want an alternative, Chester 410 is actually a very competent fighter. And a lot of her specials are kind of fun. So I'm not going to lie. As much as I hate the bitch, she's actually probably one of the more competent fighters in the game. And she's very fun to play with. Just not again. Man, it's so rare that we get to listen to Golden Slaughter. I'd like to see some of her other moves. Like that, okay. If the opponent kept on doing that, I'd actually be okay with her kicking my ass, but that actually takes some skill. Just pressing the B button doesn't, though. At the very least, I can take solace in the fact that it's very unlikely we're going to fight Chester 410. A lot of people had to change their opinion of even Trist after Chapter 8. Oh, oh, I did not expect a dark turn so sudden. So, for those of you who never made the connection, if you remember, there were four, like, play rabbits that, uh, Maria had, and, uh, Rosa broke one of the rabbits. And apparently that murdered Chester 556. That's why Chester 556 does not appear in the game at all, other than, you know, character portraits. 
It's actually pretty dark that they would bring up something like that. Holy shit, Chester 410 is amazing! Why the fuck has the AI been spamming with her? Chester 410 is amazing in hand to hand combat! I mean, yeah, this is cheap. This right here is cheap, but goddamn, this right here is amazing! No. No. I don't want to admit it. Not yet. We'll, we'll have to play a little bit more with her, but... Oh, if I'm about to... No. Let me play a little bit more with Chester 410, and then we'll talk about... about this. How about never Lambda Delta? Ah. Fight me and my Jello. See what her specials are. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It does all this bullshit. You have to be just the right distance away, but I just beat Lambda Delta. Grand Slam? I wasn't feeling good today, that's all. Trick or carrots, yeah. <laughs> Fear Lady Maria will be sad indeed. Okay, one of the things that I was thinking... Did I take out the art, or was I just crazy? And one of the things that I was thinking... And this is gonna be blasphemous after all the shit that this bitch has put me through. But... She's really good. I might be looking at a new main. Not all of her moves are spam happy, to be fair. It's just that the AI really, really loves the B button. Holy shit, man. You gotta be at the right angle. You gotta just get right in between. What does that even do? Yeah, and then this thing right here is kind of unfair. It just continuously attacks. It's even attacking him in the transition. That's kind of bullshit. Man, I missed. I'm thinking I'm starting to really like how Chester 410 actually plays, so I might try and main her at some point. Oh, that's so good! It does so much stuff! Man, Chester 410 is actually pretty fucking decent! If it wasn't for the AI being fucking dumb with her all the time, I might actually enjoy the character a little bit more. Okay, that was cute.
So back off. Wait, what? And atrocity time for Eva. <laughs> To, to be fair, they are, but that's kind of because they're the most. They're the main characters. Huh? Top three. Yeah, actually, I've noticed that a lot of the cuter characters and a lot of the younger characters tend to get in the top, unless they're pro uh, plot relevant. Like, um, Virgilia, I think, is. Actually, I don't think Virgilia is too far up there. I think it's usually just younger characters get in the top. And then, plus, on top of that, any character that's plot relevant. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Despite being a hamburger! Ouch! Jesus! I do love her crouch. Hello! Oh, come on! I, I'm a friend of Lady Maria! No, don't grand slam me! Okay, I do love that bow move. Because it's not a constant, it's just when it happens. Your break limit's almost down. I do hate the break limit in this game. Oh, hey, hey! Ow. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of cool. Five of them, not bad. Bot oh, God. Yeah, no, Bottler is dangerous. Really wish he... Uh, I hate playing against Bottler. Good thing is, though, is that nine times out of ten, Bottler will team up with a, like, uh, summoner character, like Beatrice and Angie. So, like, once Bottler switches back, it's a lot easier. Nice! Nope, you're going in my net. Dilemma Saga 2 has no, no clue what to do! He's just like, back and forth and back and forth. Oh, come on. What does that even do? Oh, I think that's the fence. Yeah, it's definitely the fence. So when I do it with the uh, ability, it summons the it summons the the gate. See, she's much more tolerable when I can do things. Oh, great, cool. Ow! No, quit it with your eagles and whatever Japanese language you're using that makes it sound like the word ow. Oh man, I love that. I really love that. Man, I love playing as 410, just not against her. Voting for Freo here when to fly away if you blew them on. 
on, oh, blue on them, it's so last century. Yeah. No, I'd imagine kicking the shit out of everyone's most favorite character is not gonna do that. Checking the web. Pop and cute. <laughs> I fucking love that when she says pop and cute. <laughs> Aw, that's a nice drawing. That's probably gonna be skipped over in the video. Ah! The oldest Beatrice in the world, man. No! Fuck your goats! No! Fuck your goats! Look, as long as she doesn't summon the goat army, I think I'm fine. Wait. She keeps on. I keep on getting the perfect distance away from her to summon the goat. Oh, that was close. Whoa! Alright, I have to give the AI that one. That one was pretty cool. That, that is the highlight of this whole video. How she, like, how we both used our abilities at the same time and she split into two and then got me with her special. I gotta say, that was actually pretty good of the AI there. I don't even know what happened. I'll have to check back in editing. My god. No! Just a little bit more. I really did love how Sakatero looked when he did that. Okay, the break limit actually did something that time. Uh, sometimes the power output on Evatrice is just... Uh, I'm glad I have Chester 410. It's actually good! Comrade Arika. Wait, does that mean that these two are both witches of truth? Never fear. Oh, God. You know, I think they got paired up at random. You're asking a clay moon rabbit if we're friends. I, I don't even. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Fighting Shannon and George at the same time with Evatris as my backup sucks. Okay, listen, ho. Okay, bitch! Swear to God. She had an umbrella? I never noticed that. Every time I dash, because I'm using the D-pad, because I find the D-pad a lot more reliable than the stick. I mean, I can use the stick. Every time I use the D-pad, I end up jumping. Okay, Shannon is kind of pissing me off. I'm not even fighting jo Oh my god. Have I mentioned how much I hate Shannon sometimes?
here. Take bullshit. I'm not sure why the things didn't appear. Like, I thought there was gonna be more of the. Oh god, it's George! Oh, fuck off, George! Oh my god, I hate George so much! And that was just the first round. Alright. I made a promise to myself off screen that I would not try and use the stupid bow spam. I made a promise, and it is beneath me. Oh, fuck off, man. Man, I just love how you can just block everything in this game. An actual good combo? Nah! Fuck that, I'm just gonna hold up my goddamn leg like it's nothing! It's things like that that actually made some of my friends quit this game. Like, I have three friends that have this game, and from what I know, they all pretty much quit because of bullshit like this with the AI. Oh, I do love how Chester 45 came up. Yeah, fuck you. Sucks to suck. Woo. Yeah, but I think I mentioned this before, but three of my friends just outright quit this game because of the AI. So it's not just me bullshitting about this, it is an actual legitimate problem that at least three of my friends have quit this game outright together because of it. These two? I think Beatrice is number one, I'm not sure. What are these 21st century kids into? Because Beatrice is way better than you, like holy crap better than you. Ooh. stagnant characters, ouch. And just Lucifer's like, whatever. Ah, uh, this is a new song? This is a new song. I don't even remember when this appeared in the original Human Echo. This has a guitar? Holy shit! Yeah, no, this didn't appear in the original Human Echo. To my knowledge, the only the only one that had a guitar. Like the only song that had a guitar was the song that played when Butler and Eva. No, not Eva. Butler and Erika fought in chapter 8. I forgot what that one was called. And also fuck you. It's definitely Golden Fantasia original. You cannot block forever! Ugh. Uh. 
Did she like disable my ability to do things? That wasn't able to do things for a while. More! More spam! I noticed that the AI is not good at blocking those. To the fence! Oh. Nope. You are not getting away. Nice! That was the quickest boss battle, final boss battle I've ever done, I think. And this was a new song, too. What the fuck? Why they censor out something? I don't even see anything censored out in the subtitles. What was censored out? Aww, congratulations! Uh-oh. <laughs> Is there really no plot twist? Plot twist. Because she beat everyone up, everyone hates her. They're cute. So who's number three? We took them all out. It's just us two. Welcome to the next When They Cry. Well, back to this song. So, um... I think I'm definitely going to pocket main this character in this game. Chester 410 is definitely a character that I can do some pretty nasty combos with. Not Lucifer level combos, but she definitely does have the specials that allow her some like mid-range to like long-range combos. Like unlike Lucifer, Lucifer doesn't really have any projectiles, so she is always up close. Um 410 can actually mold depending on what you want, which I do love. Actually getting to play as 410 was really good. It's just a shame that the AI is so fucking cheap with her that it, like, well, fuck me, I guess. It took halfway through the game to get to her, but probably the video a couple of people have been waiting for. My opinions on 48 as a pl as like a player character rather than an AI. Jeez. Sorry, I had some in my throat. Well, that about does it for now. I think I'm gonna do a couple more videos. I do have to have a backlog of some things so I can edit and put some things up. I really did slack on this whole game and I apologize for that. There's not a there's not a lot I can say during this time, uh, this freaking... I hate this ending every single time. This ending is just painfully long. Seriously, come on. Uh, if I had to guess, we're probably going to unlock Chester 410's voice. Since we've unlocked 45... Uh, my guess is through the next times I play with them, I'm going to be unlocking 556 and 00. Or I think her name's actually 00. Just a 00 or something. But 
that about does it for me on my end. That was another video down, down into the YouTube depths. So I really do like Chester Forten as an actual character to fight as. It's just the AI is just so mercilessly evil with her. Well, let's see what character we unlock and go for it from there. Probably 410, if I had to take a guess. If not, one of the other moon rabbits. Yeah. I love that sassy pose she has there. Alright. Well, I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, guys, until then, see you guys then.